This is Nick with Homerazzi, and I'm sitting here with a friend of Homerazzi, Jeffrey Boyer Chapman, on the set of his new film, Lucille's Ball. Hi, guys. We were just walking around the set discussing the film with Jeffrey and uh, it seems like quite the experience uh, working with the director and the writer right on the set and it being based on her life and being so close to the experience like that. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's been a wonderful experience. We've been shooting for the past 12 days and today is our final day on set. We are wrapping. It has been phenomenal. We have a great cast, Britt Irvin and Daniela Evangelista and myself and an amazing crew. It's been really cool. Yeah, everybody has been really welcoming for us. I know originally that you all also wanted to talk about another another project he's got so many <laughs> that he wrapped up called the skinny that you're promoting in the uh, the well it, part of the fusion festival which if Correct, I'm yeah. not mistaken is uh, the only LGBTQ uh, queer film festival for um, people of color. You got that. It's so politically correct of you. Bam, bam, yes. bam. I was trying, I was trying to get all those points, baby. I was like, I can make a lot of people mad. Yeah. A lot of different ways right now. Yeah. The Skinny. Yeah. So it is a movie that I shot um, last year mm -hmm. um, in New York City. It is Patrick Ian Polk. So he is the writer, creator, director of the Logo series. Yes. That ran yes. for two seasons. So I did a guest star on that show about five or six years ago here in Vancouver. Um, and then I moved out to New York about a year and a half ago. And he knew I was living out there. So he contacted me and asked mm. me to come in and read for his new his new film. Wonderful. Um, and the movie's about a group of friends that graduate and then come back a year later, right? Correct. For uh, for Pride. You got that right. Yeah, so it's um, it's like kind of it's an ensemble cast oh, story. Good. So it's the it revolves around five of us. It's, mm -hmm. um, myself, Shanika Warren Markland, who plays my best friend, Jussie Smollett, uh, Anthony Burrell and Blake Young Fountain. So we are five universal uh, students. Um, we all went, to, you know, we just had a great four years together. We all graduated, went our separate ways, and then reunite in New York a year later to stay with Jesse's character and celebrate yep. gay pride. So, yep. so the ensemble person. cast is just all about the relationships between the people. And what can you tell us about your character, Joey? He seems like a little bit of a troublemaker in the trailer. Yeah, you yeah. got that right. Yeah. Um, he is, he's a misunderstood <laughs> if anything. Um, Joey is, he is the uh, you know, fabulous, flamboyant fashion icon of the crew. Um, he stems from Atlanta. Yeah. He, um, you know, he he fits into this crew very seamlessly, it seems, but he comes from a very different world. The rest of them all come from very privileged, elitist, trust fund um, backgrounds, and Joey's the only one that came from Atlanta with a very strict religious uh, upbringing. And his, and his best friend in the film is actually the lesbian character. Yeah. Uh, really interesting relationship between you two as a gay man and a lesbian, which is yeah. not the original relationship that people would think to relate to, but... No, but it works so seamlessly, and honestly, out of all the feedback that we're getting from the film, it's about the dynamic between Joey and Langston. It's right. just, it's so... The chemistry between me and Shanika was just immediately off the bat, just, um, uh, just uh, you know, explosive. It was amazing. So it's just really easy just to play off of each other, and it really translates on film. So cool. Really and and I know that you were excited about the L.A. premiere. Yeah. Uh, that wasn't that long ago. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, in Los Angeles. So it was my first time seeing the film. I had seen, you know, uh, maybe one or two scenes when, when I had gone in for ADR, just voiceover work, a couple yeah. of weeks beforehand. But I had no idea what to expect. Um, I thought it was going to be a really small screening, and it turned out to be a full-blown Hollywood premiere on Hollywood Boulevard at the Egyptian Theater. Red carpet and all. Yeah. So the pictures, hopefully we'll put up a picture right now, Jeffy, looking yeah. fabulous on the red carpet. Um, it was an amazing experience. And where can people expect to see the film now? So the film originally had its world premiere in Los Angeles, yeah. premiered overseas in London in late March. It has opened in select theaters all across America as we speak. Um, yesterday it had its official opening in Los Angeles. Um, it will be opening in New York in about a month and then it will be playing on um, MTV's channel Logo cool. all summer long before it goes to DVD. So then hopefully us Canadians can see it. Too. Yeah, unfortunately uh, it's little not Canadian boy. <laughs> what about Lucille's Ball? Where can we expect this? Lucille's and, Ball. And when? Yeah, so this is um, this is an art house project so it's yeah. going to go do the indie circuit. So okay. hopefully it'll uh, get it'll land in Sundance, Cannes, and uh, Toronto International Film Festival in do that circuit before coming back to uh, TV screens on Super Channel by early 2013. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. It was very nice to see you. Yeah, you as well. Man. I know that you're leaving in a little bit and going back to the big Apple, big New York City, back big to boy. NYC, yeah. Big. Well, good luck, Jeffrey. Thank you, and Nick. We'll talk soon. Absolutely. And congratulate the boy. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys.